One of the specific roles that Imam Sajjad had that defined his life was in the aftermath of Karbala. The narrative that Yazid and his system were portraying was something completely different than what had happened. When we look at the stories that were being told in the different courts that the soldiers and the generals had gone to and they were trying to explain to Ibn Ziyad and Yazid as to what happened, they made the whole incident seem like that Yazid's people were brave and courageous and they went to fight and Imam Hussein and his soldiers were weak and cowards who were running away. Imam Sajjad was given the role to make sure that the incident of Karbala, the event of Karbala does not change. It remains authentic. It remains the way it happened. When we looked at that, we see that there was no one to report from the side of Imam Hussein and to tell his side of the story. But the media and the state, they had their own narrative of what was going on. Now, Imam Sajjad at first had to make sure that all the information, the basic information of Karbala is accurate. And that is what we see him doing. Everywhere he went, he established the fact that the people who are being taken are the family of Rasulullah. That we are the family of Rasulullah. That we are the family of the Prophet. I am the son of Hussein. And then after that, saying that Hussein was martyred. And this is how he was killed. To make sure everyone understands what happened. Where it happened in Karbala. And how it happened. Just the basic that he was killed unjustly, wrongfully, and establishing the very foundation so that the story doesn't change. That the state and the state media doesn't change the story. You have to prove Ghadir happened. You have to dig deep and show the people that this incident actually happened. But Karbala, where there's no witnesses from Imam Hussain's side, you see, is such a fact that no one is able to deny it. This is the miraculous journey of Imam Sajjad from Karbala to Sham. A lot of the maktal that we have and the tragedy that we have is from the speeches of Imam Sajjad and how he would describe to the people and tell them in detail as to what would happen. This is how he established the details and in those details became the spirit and the culture of Ashura in Karbala. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa 